We got kind of tangled mess here. Got the new wire. It's uh, springy, but not as springy as when it's done toward the end of the reel. This is right off the uh, reel, so it's not too springy, although it is still wanting to curl back up. I measured uh, every 25 feet, which is right in the center of each one of these. 25 feet marker, there should be three of them, 75 feet. So that'll give us an idea uh, how long it is if I could see it up there. So I have to figure out how to pull this up and guide it up by myself. So I suppose I can pull that string down here and just feed it, pull it from down here to get it on that side of the tree by the awning. And then I could uh, throw it up on a roof and straighten it out when I get up there. The trick is getting up here vertical straight without kinking it. So I think we'll see how we do with that. So let's take him off. That's our projectile. Put him in my pocket. And we'll tie some sort of, I'm not real good at knots. I was never a boy scout, I never did the knot thing. So I am not a knot tire. I just keep looping and tying and looping and tying until it doesn't seem like it's slipping anymore. Something like that, maybe. Okay, and a wire, copper wire is not so bad because it's not slippery and sp and this doesn't tend to untie so I can kind of roll it around like it's a splice or something like that okay so I need to get on the other side of that string ah oh boy yeah I should have uh, pulled it down before I got down but uh, well, let me just go up on a roof here let me think about this right over there can't reach it with the rake, I don't think. Uh, so I need to go back up on the roof from the front side. Let's do that. Let me just throw that bobbin down because I want to make sure that that copper wire is not kinking on the way up. I kind of want to guide it on the way up. So I'll get it over whatever limb I could and then throw it up on the awning from the back and then work it up on the roof here. Okay. bit of exercise here. Here we go. Be careful with raining so the roof is slippery. Okay, there's this thing bobbing. It's all wet. Okay, so I can try to pull some of it up just here. Let's see how it goes. It's going up. bringing a copper yet. There we go. I feel bringing a copper up. Okay, so I probably want to be down there to guide it. So I'm going to throw this down over here. I'm not sure how to do this. Yeah, let me just toss on over there. Goodbye. Whoops. Jeez. No, no baseball. All right, here we go. Still got daylight, this is good. Almost five o'clock. And I can still see myself. I'm so sick of this winter. And it's good, I got all spring and summer to look forward to. Okay. Go back around. Are we having fun yet? Yeah, this way I can kind of watch that copper wire going up. Okay, here we go. Where is the copper wire? I just want, I could see it over here. Camera and I might, might, might not be able to pick it up, but I can watch for kinks. Oh, see, there's one right there. Or loop. Loop the glue. Looks like our first 25 feet going up. That kink is gone. Oh, another one. Oh. 
another curl cue. Okay. Yeah, this is really a two-person job, but oh. I don't know if I can feel it coming up over. I'm watching. There goes another 25 feet. There's 50 feet already. Wow. Oh boy, big rat's nest. Oh, not too bad. Not oh, straightened out on its own. First time for that. Uh, is that 75 feet? Oh, I got copper wire here already. Oh my goodness, we're off. We're done with all that. It's coming off the reel now. Oh, that's a good sign. Yeah, here's copper. That's a good sign. Let's see how much more I can pull. Yeah, it's just coming off here real nice. So I can probably disconnect it from the throw line right about now. So far, everything's going good. Let's see. Take him off. I want to get this knot out of here. The rain's kind of lightened up a little bit. And so, what I want to do is take a break and get this floor line underneath the awning so it doesn't get all waterlogged as plastic line, but I don't know how porous it is. And, with that bad enough my nice new wooden bobbin that I made on 125 2020 is wet already but we'll uh, deal with him later his mission is accomplished so pull this string in okay well that's quite a bit of line there it's the arborist throw line for hikers and arborists alike. Nice string here, not too tangly. Okay, let him dry out. Bam. Okay, on to the task at hand. Copper, yay, antenna wire. Okay, he's coming off that reel really nice, I think. I'm thinking, there's 25 feet of it here, that I could probably get up on that roof. Let's see. Now let me get some more up here. I just want to make sure I'm not pulling any kinks up. Oh, see, that's getting a little tough there. The tree's coming, moving. Where's the next piece of tape? Getting a little stiff for some reason. How much do I have here? I'm going to make it over to June. I should be getting really close. Pull a little more. I'm looking for that next piece of tape. I want, oh, there it is. I wonder if you got scraped off. Let's get him here. That would be 50 feet, I think, right here. So, one. That's uh, 25 feet to that mark and 25 feet to the end. So, there's 50 feet. So. I'm going to hurt this up there. And whoa! There we go, I made it. Stay, stay. Okay. And uh, I should get some paracord and tie around those juniper trees. We're going to have an antenna here pretty soon. Okay, let's get up on there. Take a shortcut. And then 50 feet. I'm trying to think. Uh, 80 meters is twice of 40 meters. 40 meters is 32 feet per quarter wave on 33. So I need 66 and there's 50. Oh, there's got to be that much on the vertical. And here comes the rain. It's coming, Tiki. I'm going to take this. I got some of this really nice paracord. A little over 88 feet, she says. This I'll loop up over those trees. This will be my 
secure the insulator side. Maybe. Oh crap, here comes the rain. Good and heavy. I'm gonna get wet. Okay, oh it's really coming down. Crap. Set this over here. Go get this wire. coming off. I'd like to take it to that tree, but I think it's going to interfere. It's going to be really close to that 40 and 80, 40 and 20 dipole, I think. In fact, it'll cross over. I'm not sure I want that. Probably wouldn't hurt. Oh yeah, we got way too much wire here. 66 feet is what I need. Okay. How do I do this with Kill myself. I actually need to get both of those. Let's get some paracord around there. Alright, I'm gonna pause the camera. I'm gonna finagle around there, try to get this loop 